It's time for a brand new park all. How's it going? See that flashy sign right there? Another park called Adventureland. Am I back in Altoona, Iowa? No, I'm actually on Long Island in New York, Farmingdale, New York to be exact. Shockingly, my first ever time to Long Island despite living in New England, uh, not counting like Queens and Brooklyn. But yeah, I'm ex this is uh, kind of an unexpected park on my travels. Uh, it looks like a very, very tiny park. But they got three roller coasters here. One's a kiddie ride. And then two of them are pretty unique. One's a unique mock spinner. And another one is just from a manufacturer that I have never done before and a ride type I've never done before. So a couple of reviews that I'm going to try to get for you guys today as we try to finish off October in some style. Adventureland in New York. New park for me. Very excited. It looks super charming. And I like those small family-owned charming parks. It's the only amusement park, I believe, on all of Long Island. So let's see what's in store for us. This is a super charming park. Honestly, it has the feel of like one of those small European parks. Like uh, I've never been like a Bakken or a Tivoli Gardens in Denmark. I'm getting that feel, except for the water tower. <laughs> but probably if we were in Denmark, there'd be some like, you know, 600 year old cathedral there or something. Let's start the quick little Adventureland cred run. And again, not the one in Iowa. It's the one in New York, Long Island, for a mock spinner <laughs> called Turbulence. I haven't had too many mock spinners though. So I'm actually really excited for this one. It opened in 2015 with a height of 55 miles per hour. Nope, a height of 55 feet and a speed of 40 miles per hour, keeping that in. And also the date, it is Monday, October 23rd. There's only two of these Turbulence models. It's actually called the Turbulence model because this was the first one. And the two countries that it's in, the Philippines and Kazakhstan, the greatest country in the world. <laughs> so there's, there's not too many of these models out there. So they look like they're spinning pretty good and it looks super smooth. Honestly, I know I don't like spinning, but as long as it's a smooth spin, I'm fine with that. So very intrigued for Turbulence. That was a ride on turbulence. And you know what? I think that's one of my favorite spinners. It had a feel of, what's the one at Knott's Berry Farm? Sierra Sidewinder. Um, I think that's a mock, I should know that. I gave that ride way too low of a score. I, I'm, I'm just gonna say it, 2024, one of my first videos that I'm gonna do is 10 rides that should have gotten a better score, and maybe 10 rides that I gave too high of a score to. So look forward to that next year. Um, yeah, Sierra Sidewinder was probably on that list. Honestly, that reminded me of uh, of Sierra Sidewinder. Like super, super smooth. Really good forces. Really good positives. It spun just the right amount. Not too dizzying, but just enough to have a really good time. I'm going 5.98. I liked it. It's really, really good. Perfect amount of length. Not too long. Not too short. It's insanely smooth, which is great. Turbulence is a win for me. So we're gonna wrap around and ride the other roller coaster here. A model that I have never done before. Kind of looks like a 4D free spin, but is not. So we'll see how that goes. That is Turbulence. That's the 23rd. Hope you enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you manana.